So the love horoscope for today is the Fool, the Five of Wands, the Temperance, the Three of Wands, the Lovers, the Death card, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is the Four of Pentacles. So some of y'all are going to make up. You're going to take a risk or you're going to um, decide that you don't have all the information, but you're going to take uh, a calculated decision to pursue something. So you don't even know how it's going to work out, but you're very optimistic. Notice the yellow in the background um, could be air. And we know the fool is by Aquarian energy, Uranus. So we see here this person is ready to go and take a leap. The five of wands is like um, no longer fighting, no more drama, no more bullshit. So someone is deciding to just take a leap of faith and apologize or resolve some type of conflict. The temperance could be forgiveness. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but this is like deciding that something is just not worth it and just really like apologize and become more centered, balanced. Um, someone definitely wants to blend energies with you. Three of Wands is here too. It looks like in the future, someone would like to manifest with you or manifest an, a resolution. Um, someone feels like long-term, they know what they want and they're waiting for it. I don't know what they're waiting for. They can just go out and do it. But again, someone feels as if they are waiting for their shifts to come in in regards to this type of apology or resolution. The lovers is kind of like people trying to interfere with that connection or someone feels incompatible. So lovers could also be you're not very sure if this is what you really want to do. Although this is what you want to do, you're not sure if you should execute the actual thought. Because you know how we think about shit, you know, as human beings millions of times a day. But to actually execute it is a different story. So lovers, you could be dealing with a Gemini, Sun and Aries. And I've, I think this is the first digging of Leo. The death card is Scorpio. You feel like you're stuck in some type of relationship or contractual agreement. You could be dealing with Scorpio. Maybe um, this person has a limited range of view. I feel like someone's family could be getting in the way too. But this death card is about being stuck, complaining about things you never do anything about. Maybe your friends are like, you got the opportunity to move on from something and you just haven't made your move. The Knight of Wands could be an actual move. It could be a very attractive man. Or this could just be a job for work. Maybe you're always complaining about how you never get out the house. And you're how your life is shit. And it's like, okay, your friends are like, okay, do something about it. And you hesitate because of fear. So um, it doesn't seem much like love. It could be many different ways. But it seems like they're telling you to come on. You could be able to Virgo or Scorpio Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. But you have a decision to make. What are you going to do? Are you going to sit on your ass or complain?